Hi, it's Devro from the Abitron team. I wanted to show off animation with curves and acceleration today. Uh, something I've been working on. Um, whenever we try to get some animations done for character, we've been really focusing on how to make it feel really, really good uh, when you're playing it instead of being, you know, static here. or something's just off. And uh, here are some things that we've, uh, we're doing uh, with some of the cool stuff in UE4, like the Curve Editor, a lesser known uh, tool that uh, which we found, we're like, oh, we got to use this. This is pretty sweet. So basically, here's kind of a, an example of using that. Uh, if we take our Thrasher here and we run to the right, you see how he leans as he runs to the left, he leans. If he runs to the forward, he leans. Then as he's getting the full speed, he drops back. And same thing with the side. As he sh starts changing direction, he has a um, a really good feel to him. He's a little more springy when he's to a step. Um, all based off a simple animation uh, curve uh, driving a blend space using the curve editor, which I'll show here. So basically, you can see that leaning to the right, leaning to the left. Uh, I'll go ahead and I have a little bit exaggerated for the demo, but basically I'll go ahead and turn that off and um, let's bring up his blueprint or his animation blueprint and turn that off. Turn that to zero. Save it and see the before and after. Now if you look, remember what it looked like before, if I take a go to the right, it's very stand upish. He's a stand up kind of guy. Uh, but it's very staticky. It seems really blocky, rigid, doesn't feel the same as before. So that's one of the key points I wanted to bring up. Uh, let's turn it back. Turn it back on. Save it. Uh, I want to show you the curve that I'm using to drive the animation. It's pretty neat to see that. There's uh, my spring dampening curve. So basically, <clears throat> As I'm uh, accelerating, um, I have a normalized curve that I drew here in the curve editor. I can drag these points, change the tangent lines of them, uh, change as many key points as I want. Uh, normalize your curve from one to one so that you can always multiply the magnitude or multiply the time by any factor that you want for if you want a longer to the curve to die out, a spring dampening curve a decay to be really long or for quicker decay times. <clears throat> etc. But basically we take this curve and we apply it to whenever he is, um, this one's actually decelerating my spring dampening here. Uh, and then if you excel, we have another one for excelling uh, to lean to, to the curve and have a little bounce back. And that's pretty cool. Uh, so it's not just to the point in the back. It got a little bit over over the animation, come back to the animation. So it's kind of neat. Uh, if I go ahead and play that back just to see it again. You can see we're moving to the right. We're leaning. It seems to be more fun, and I just need a top hat and a cane, and I could probably sing a nice little show tune. <laughs> uh, another cool little place to use acceleration uh, is actually in to the first person. If we look at the view model, as you turn your your uh, <coughs> head, I don't want the the hands to be part of the head, so it looks really statically. Like in the shooter game example, it's the, the hands are tied to the head. As you look, the head, the hands move to where you move. So this one, I drive your <coughs> your yaw to uh, record your yaw frame to frame, so subtract your previous yaw from your current yaw, and you can get your yaw acceleration and drive that to a blend space, and basically you can see how the arms will move to the right and left. If I jerk to the right, jerk to the left, they feel like I'm actually moving. Uh, if I if I look down, my hands go down a little bit. If I go up, my hands pick up a little bit. Just all kinds of cool little blend space acceleration changes. This is one I'm currently still working on, but uh, as you can see, it, it just feels better as I move my head, my hands move. It's all procedurally uh, layered on top of my existing idle animation. So let's see here. So that's something I wanted to show today. Uh, so you can sit there and have some fun uh, hopping. Uh, another cool little feature I like to do is, oh, I like to hop a lot around. It's always fun uh, for development uh, animation inside the engine is to slow motion. So as I'm running, I'm jumping, and I slow motion. So I can see the transition transitions in the game. So here's the uh, slow motion toggle. I'll show you that in a second. second. But it's pretty neat to have fun jumping over guys or if I want to add a guy to chase me run around and jump jump away and then what I'll do is I'll matrix him turn around come back around and jump right over him ah! <laughs> it looks pretty neat but that's a pretty useful tool for any animators out there to 
uh, using this engine. I can show you that level blueprint real quick. It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. If you go to um, here's my blueprint. So basically I just set a uh, variable, a boolean, if I'm in my slowdown mode or not. Uh, press Q. Once I press it, it will toggle my, basically a nod it so I can toggle it. And then set my global time dilation, either full speed or 0.1 or 0.2 or 0.3, whatever time you need. But it's definitely a very useful tool and uh, definitely highly recommend it. Well, that's a quick video of what I wanted to show today, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I look forward to making more. Uh, if you have any questions on some of this, I'll try to answer the best I can, and uh, happy uh, game devving. Talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot.